The cd command is one of the first commands that most people learn in Linux. In this video, I will show you some tips and tricks behind some cool usages of this simple command, and I bet you that some of this will be new to you. Do you subscribe to the philosophy that life and beer are very similar? You know, you have to chill for best results. If so, then subscribe to my channel for more free-flowing beer. The cd command, which is short for change directory, is used to change your current working environment to a different folder so you have easy access to the files there. You can simply type cd and then the path name of the folder that you want to change to. So for example, I can do cd slash etsy slash firefox slash policies. All right, then I can do an ls to see what's there. And let's say I am done editing this file and I need to get back to my home folder where I can do another task. What I can do is type cd and then tilde to get back to my home directory or just cd by itself, right? Either one of them works. And then I can do a pwd and then ls to see what's there. So that does look like my home folder, that's fine. So what's really going on here is that the cd command is really executing something that looks like this. It's doing cd to a variable named dollar $home. And if you want to do a pwd, sure enough, it tells you that we are in a home folder. And we can do a echo dollar $home to see what the variable is set to. And in this case, it is set to slash home slash blue monkey forensics. So this variable is set when you log in by the shell and it's essentially picked up from your entry in the password file. So we do grep blue monkey from Etsy password. We see in this entry here, this is basically the home folder for this particular user and it's the same format for every user. So essentially, like I said, this is where the shell picks it up, is from this file. But you can actually change this variable if you want, right? So what you can do is you can do export home equals, let's say, uh, slash temp. All right, so what this is gonna do now is gonna reset that variable so it's no longer pointing to slash home slash blue monkey forensics, it's literally pointing to slash TMP. So if I now do a CD, right, it is going to not put me in my home directory, but actually put me in slash temp, right? So that's not what I want, but that's what it did because that is what the variable home is set to. So this may be useful for some applications or as a prank, right? If you want to mess with your uh, friend who left this terminal unattended, you can change this home variable, but I'm going to change it back so I don't get myself confused. So I'm going to go ahead and do export home equals slash home slash blue monkey four and six. Okay, so do an echo to double check to make sure I have no typos and that the shell interpreted it correctly and double check that it works as expected. Right, so now my home variable is back in order and I can CD back to my home. Let's say we want to get back to that last thing we were working on. In this case, I was in slash temp, remember? So um, instead of typing the full path, I can just type cd dash. Okay, and basically I am transported back to the last folder that I was working on, which is slash temp. And I can do this again, the cd slash, and now it's put me back in my home folder. So this could be useful if you're working on something where you are editing a file or running a program in one directory, but the results will be in a different directory. You can just type cd dash to go back and forth between the two folders that you're working on in the moment without having to fully type their path names. But what is cd actually doing when you run the command with this dash operand? Well, what it's really doing is that it is executing this sequence. It's gonna cd into double quotes of dollar old PWD. And then when that executes successfully, it's gonna do a PWD. All right, so let's break it down so we have a better understanding. Much like there's a home variable, there is a variable named old PWD 
which stores the last working directory you are in before you did the CD. And every time CD is executed, this variable is updated, right? So we can take a look at it. And at this point, it is home slash blue monkey forensics, right? Because that was the last folder that we were at. So every time you run CD dash, it will CD into the folder that is specified by the variable old PWD. And then if it's successful, it's gonna execute the PWD command so that you can see where you are at the completion of that command. At this point, some of you may be thinking, okay, monkey dude, that's great for going back and forth between the two folders that you are already currently using. But what if I have more folders that I frequently go to and I'm too lazy to retype the full path? Can you help me with that? And to that I say, yeah, Linus can help you with your laziness. Let me first CD back to my home folder and then to make things easier to see, and I'm gonna go ahead and do an ls command as well so you can see what's in there. Now let's say that I do a lot of work in that Firefox policy folder that we were working on earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and do an ls of that path so you can see it. So I'm gonna do ls slash etsy Firefox. And we can see that there's two folders in there, policies and pref. So this is the folder where I would like to repeatedly come back to you in an efficient manner. So let me introduce you to a new variable named cd path which behaves very similar to the path variable, except the path variable is used to locate executables, whereas the CD path variable is used to locate CD folders. So your account may or may not already have the variable set. So let's see what it is currently set to. So I'm gonna do echo dollar CD path, and I gotta learn how to spell. Can't talk and type at the same time. And we can see that it is not set, right? It's empty. And so what I'm gonna do now is set the variable so that it makes it easy for me to CD to these folders. So I'm gonna export the variable CD path with a colon separated file path list. All right, so I'm gonna do export CD path equals, and then start it with dot colon. I'm gonna start with the dot indicating the current folder as some modes of running bash, namely in the postex mode, will not default to looking in the current folder if you don't implicitly specify it. So then I'm gonna specify the path that I want to repeatedly go back to, which is Etsy Firefox. So now, if I CD to change into a directory, the CD command will read the CD path variable and step through each path looking for the folder to CD into. So for example, if I want to CD in the pref folder, which is in slash Etsy slash Firefox, I can just type CD pref, and then sure enough, I am in that folder. And the CD command will first look at the current folder where there is no pref folder, and then it will look in the Etsy Firefox folder where it does find a pref folder, and so it will complete the command by going there. Interestingly enough, the file complete also works as explained, so if I wanna to change to the policies folder, all I have to do is just do CD and then hit like a POL and then hit tab and it will complete it for me and it will go to the policies folder under Etsy Firefox. And look at that, it just works. So CD put me into the folder Etsy Firefox slash policies because the folder policies is in the path of Etsy Firefox. Let's do a bit more on this to show off the capabilities of Linux. So let's CD into another folder that we do a lot of work in. So I'm gonna CD into tilde slash Mozilla Firefox. We'll do an LS. So there's a bunch of subfolders in here and files and so forth. So let's say that there's some reason why I always like to come back to this particular uh, location. So I want to add this to my CD path variable. And so one thing we can do is basically just type it out, right? We can do export CD path equals and then dot colon slash etsy firefox colon and then slash home slash blue monkey forensics slash dot mozilla slash firefox and then end it there all right so that's quite a bit of typing so i'm gonna be lazy 
right? I'm gonna try to do this the lazy way or the quick and expedient way, depending on what you think. So now, instead of retyping what we already had before, I can basically just type in dollar CD path, right? So this is the first two blocks that we already had. We don't need to repeat those. And I can type the colon, right? Because I'm gonna add another path in there. And so now, instead of typing out the whole slash home slash blue monkey, I can basically let the command line fill that in by doing backtick pwd and then backtick, right? So what that's gonna do is that it's gonna go to the shell and execute the pwd command and whatever comes back is gonna fill it into this space. And then I can go ahead and end the double quote, okay? And if I hit the enter, it seems like it did something. And like I said before, Linux comes back with no indication whether you did the right thing. It comes back and says it did something. So I'm gonna do echo dollar CD path to check on whether it did the right thing. And sure enough, we can see that it has the first path of dot, and then it has Etsy Firefox, and then lastly, my Mozilla Firefox folder. So that looks good. And so to test it out, I can type CD, and then starting with the CV folder, then I can hit tab at this point, and look at that, it just fills it in. Right, so it worked as expected because that CV folder is in my CD path. So it completed it with file completion. And then again, I can just type POL, right, to go to the policies folder, you can tab complete that, and that works as advertised as well. I think it's pretty cool that such a simple command like CD can be so powerful. To summarize, in this video we looked at the bare CD command, which takes you to the home directory, or technically the folder specified by the dollar home variable. We also looked at the CD dash command, which takes you to the last folder you are in, or the folder specified by the dollar old PWD variable. And lastly, we took a look at using the CD path variable which helps you CD in the folders without having to type in their full path names. For more videos with Linux tips and tricks, make sure you watch these videos here. Click on the blue monkey to subscribe. Thanks for your time and happy hunting.